In this video, I'm going to walk you through the unit, set up the exchange rate. This is the first unit in the project prepare your Salesforce org for users. In this video, I'm going to walk you through this entire unit, explain some of the concepts that might not make sense, and show you how to configure your Trailhead Playground so you can pass this unit with confidence. I've added bookmarks to this video, so you can just jump ahead to the part that you're stuck on. Let's get to it. Your company, AW Computing, is adopting Salesforce. Adopting doesn't mean what you normally think it means. It means starting to use. You are the administrator of this org, okay? An org is an identifier that represents a customer's version of a sales of Salesforce and its data within an instance. My gosh, this is such a confusing sentence. Each company that signs up with Salesforce gets its own version of Salesforce. And that's what an org is. So when we talk about a Salesforce org, it's that one unique thing. A company can have several Salesforce orgs. You could have your developer org, you could have your production org, you could have use a couple of different Salesforce orgs as your business requires. If you've just started with Trailhead, you already have a Salesforce org. It's a Trailhead Playground, same thing. Some differences, but we don't have to get into those right now. However, you know the org requires some preparation before users start to log in. In this project, you get hands-on practice preparing your org for end users. End users are the people that actually use it. They're not the people at the end someplace. It's just business jargon, which frankly should have been edited out. Users, just people. From setting up an exchange rate and customizing your user's homepage to creating unique list views and creating public-private chatter groups. Okay, by completing these steps, you learn various ways to customize your org before your end users start using Salesforce anticipating users' needs before they even log in makes adoption, starting to use, Salesforce even smoother. Happy end users means happy administrator, which is true, yeah. Since AW Computing is an international company, let's start by turning on the multiple currencies option. Even if your company isn't international, it's gonna know how to work with multiple currencies within Salesforce. You never know where Salesforce can help you take your company in the future. If you're the administrator, it might not be your company. It might be the company that you're working for. Just might be obvious, but. Enable multiple currencies. Click the gear icon and click setup. At some point in this instructions, we stop telling you how to do this because this is just something that you need to know how to do. Enter company information in the quick find box and select company information. Click edit. Current locale is set to English, United States USD. Don't worry, you can change the currency back to your default currency after completing this project. Within the currency setting selection, select activate multiple currencies box. Click save. All the way down here. From the company information page, click currency setup button and then click new. Set up the Euro with the following information. Currency type, Euro, conversion rate 1.5, decimal places two. And then click save. Okay, just me talking out loud here. I would like, it would be nice if there was some way that this actually plugged into what the actual exchange rate was for each day instead of us entering in a text number. Maybe we'll learn how to do that later. Test the exchange rate on a new opportunity. Click the app launcher and select sales, select the opportunities tab, then new, fill in the opportunity information. App launcher sales, opportunities, 
and then new. Opportunity name is called Euro Currency Test. Account name is United Oil and Gas. Opportunity currency is Euro. Close date, end of the month. That's coming up soon. And stage closed one. Amount. 10,000. That's nice. I appreciate being told that that's four zeros. And now click save. Note refresh the opportunity to ensure the changes are reflected. Make a note of the converted amount in this stage history. Let's see if we could see that. There it is. Close one amount in euros, expected revenue. And we can see how much that is in US dollars. Shown in parentheses, the amount field, there we go. There it is, fantastic. Update the exchange rate with multiple currencies turned on. Let's update and test the exchange rate. Click the gear icon and select setup. And then we're gonna type in managing currency, manage currencies, and we're gonna select manage currencies. Okie dokes, setup. Manage currencies, manage currencies. Now, if manage currencies does not appear in your quick find search, enter company information and click currency setup. Okay, well, this worked for us, so we're fine. Click edit rates and then edit the euro to one and then click save. View the opportunity from the earlier exercise and compare the converted amount to the one you noted. App launcher, sales, opportunities tab from recent opportunities, a euro currency test, and compare the converted amount to the one you noted earlier. So let's just, I'm just gonna do this and refresh this page. And look at that, it's the same. Okay, right, yeah, fine, sorry. If you want to do this, you would go to if you want to do it the proper way, you can click the app launcher, then go to sales, then go to opportunities, and now you see your recently viewed one in that list, and there it is, and now we got back to that same page. Okay. If you have the tab open, you don't need to redo the instructions. Just saying. Congrats, you have successfully added another currency to your org and updated exchange rates. As we all know, exchange rates change. A sec exchange rate may not work in your situation. Let's learn how to update the exchange rate based on a calendar date. Verify step to earn 100 points.